I think a lot of the players that we've been interviewing so far have all asked who are they going to play with, which is a fair and reasonable question. And we haven't really been able to, to say that, whereas now we can say, look, we've got Emma Carney. Um, and then there's there's no AFLW player that wouldn't want to play with Emma. Um, so I think it'll give us a big boost over the next two weeks to to get some more signings. I think it's good um, not only to get the first player, but she's, she's also a quality person, which was part of what we tried to do. Um, so she'll come and work in the in the recreational area and help out with uh, growing the next generation of kids. But um, yeah, I mean, if you're going to get one player, you might as well start at the top of the tree, and she's definitely the top of the tree. She'll do the sport and rec coordinator role, um, and what she'll do is um, go out to do some clinics and things like that. Um, and that's where it's interesting. So just being down in Tasmania, um, with the with the kids that are coming through that are sort of around that 12, 13 year old mark. A lot of it is that remedial type stuff, so the ball drop and just getting their foot through the ball and having the confidence to do that. And I think by having someone like Emma, um, who is the best player in the country, um, allows that the kids look up to her and, and will we'll know at least she's coming from a level of authority. So um, having her at North is um, is great for us from, from a North perspective, but also for um, the development of girls footy going forward. I'm very big on clarity, preparation and communication, they're my three staples of my coaching philosophy. So um, I think that uh, if you combine those and then you get a little bit of talent on field, and Emma Carney's a great start, um, then you can't go too far wrong.